Hey guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Burek and today I'm excited because I'm speaking in English. <laughs> it's a little honor for me because I'm from Germany and I think my English is pretty 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 bad but to be better you have to practice. So um, in this video I'm gonna show you how to optimize your farming for instances. Um, in this, first in the description I put a link with all, all maps and on these maps there are marked champions, treasures, secrets and a special route how you can save a lot of times yeah. a lot of time singular a lot of time uh, so you can very 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 fast speed farming all instant so uh, second it's now the second time I made a run through all instances the first time took me one hour and 30 minutes yeah probably 30 minutes and uh, the second time today took me one hour 40 minutes I got uh, 200 items excluded gray items and uh, white because I don't get them because uh, of this this nice item here while equipped find better item and I highly recommend this item or item with elder and extraordinary luck because 56% more XP totally insane combined with four hexes or three hexes plus 30% increased XP gain and 34% more items plus 50% of hexes. It's very, 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 very nice to have. So, um, in the second run I got 200 items. 60% was yellow, 40% was green, 4 legs, and let me calculate this fast. 100 demon power and 100 and 125 destiny cards. The boxes I got was 34 gray boxes. This kind here, uh, this kind. 18 greens and three yellow gift boxes. It's pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, the thing is, if uh, when you when you speed uh, speed farm instances, you make the you set your focus on speed. That means you need blink to move fast and jump over obstacles and not to fight the the creeps which are most most of the time irrelevant. You just need to farm champions um, and yeah, to find the treasures. That's all you need and the bosses at the end. So the next thing you need is uh, the wicked, wicked buff on the destiny cards. Gain speed for x seconds on kill. Optimum could be three cards with each seven seconds to maximum, because if you have 20, 21 seconds speed and cooldown is on 20 seconds, um, if you still kill something, you are able to, to have this movement speed forever. 21 compared to 20 so 
something else, something else, something else. I'm only playing um, the thing with my build. I'm only playing Lightning Gun because I think Spark is so sick broken in this game. Um, if you if you um, found Spark and you tr tried it to kill something and you attack and wait probably one to three seconds, a Lightning. <coughs> damage the target and it's hilarious damage sometimes I I just one shot epic epic champions because this damage is so so highly so high yeah cool thanks um ah yeah now um before you start to uh, run through all instances I'm gonna make quick the world map. Um, you have to prepare first. So how do you prepare for running through all the instances? First, um, you look in if you if you don't have have any codes, you go to online and go into into some chat rooms and ask people for some codes, like. Uh, Hey guys, would you share, share some codes with me, please? Uh, most of the time, people just send them, uh, send you the codes into the chat, like here, very fast. And if if you have some codes, share them too for the community. It's it's nice. And if you have some friends like me that are have massive codes, or just a few, let's say five to fifteen keys, add them on add them, add them on your friend list, and just ask them if they have new codes. Okay. So let's say you have five to ten people, and each each of them has five keys. That means you you get 25 to 50 new keys, and after that you invite some random people you don't know and exchange your keys with them with their keys. So you you build a a network of people who have keys, and you benefit from each other. Okay, so um, for First, before you, before you start with the world instances, you get many keys. I mean, not, not 20 keys, not 40 keys, probably 50 to 70 codes to get every, everything on each instance. I hope this was clearly talked about it in the start, it said my English is crappy as fuck, but I think it was pretty good. Um, yeah. Quick comprehensive. So first, get some keys. Till you have, let's say, 50 to 70 codes. Then you start to to study the instances, I said in the link. Uh, link in is link is in the description. You can uh, download all all maps, all instances, and I always will update them if a new tre treasure was found and is still not on the map. So uh, you can write a comment or make a screenshot. And upload it on any image site. Post the link under under let's say this this video is on Reddit, or I probably uh, put this on YouTube and share the link in Reddit. You can um, post the links under Reddit under the Reddit post or in the comments in the YouTube video, and I will add them. 
Cool, thanks. Um, if you have some questions or some some feedback, criticism or like that, let me know. And if you have keys, um, keys for me, add me, share it with me, and I give you all my over codes. The funny the funny thing is, if you start to farm keys from the chat and later you trade them with others, exchange them, uh, you, you, give, you give them your keys and their and they give you their keys. If this was right. Um, you got get a bunch of codes and, and this is like uh, uh, who talks about it? Darren Hardy, the compound effect. One thing uh, leads to another thing, and then and this all keys stacked up, and, and you can get more codes and more codes and more codes for others because you have more to give. So if you have more to give, you earn more. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Anyway, thanks guys, and let's see in the next video.